Hello and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. My name is Scott and this is episode one of what will either be a really short, really long, or just kind of average length Let's Play. I don't know. We'll see how long it ends up lasting. Anyway, welcome everyone. Um, so this is a new map, large biomes, uh, great starting location. Look at this. We got a swamp, plains, and we have an awesome forest. And by uh, I just called it an awesome forest because I can't remember what's the what's the name of this actually. Let me check. Anyway, this world is awesome because for those of you who've never played large biomes, um, it's kind of hard to. You know, sometimes you spawn in the middle of a biome and it can take you like forever to find a new one because that's kind of the fun of doing this type of map is that it's really, really hard to find your way to find new biomes and all that, which makes exploration a lot more fun and challenging in my opinion. So let's see, this is, oh, roofed forest. That's right. I really like this biome. Um, anyway, we spawned on the border of three biomes, so we are extremely lucky, and um, I don't know, I, I honestly, I actually have played on this map already, um, I, my first attempt at recording this video ended in a horrible disaster, um, in which, I don't know, my computer was acting up, and uh, I didn't really know what I was doing, and uh, so I only played for like, I'd um, say, like, maybe 10 minutes. Like, right when it started to get dark, I, I realized, like, this video was pretty much a disaster. So I decided to restart. So, honestly, other than this initial area here, uh, everything else in this Let's Play, you will see for the first time, and I will see for the first time. So, yep, this is unscripted. I don't want to do... Uh, I don't know. Scripting isn't really my thing. I just kind of want to relax and uh, have a good time and hopefully build some cool stuff uh, once we get going there. So, getting a little bit of lag at first. I don't know if other people have this problem, but uh, this probably won't ever happen again. But usually right when I start a game, yeah, you get... You know, the blocks sort of are they're a little slow to update at first, um, which is unfortunate. That problem should go away after, I don't know, it will probably never happen again, honestly. Uh, well, you never know. Could get some really bad uh, lag issues, but I don't know. It always does this at the beginning of a game, and then it stops, and it goes away, and I don't really see it again unless I do something, like, super lag-intensive, which, I don't know. We're not on a server, so I'm not, I guess lag isn't quite the right word. I just can't remember what the right word is, and now it's not giving me the blocks, so that's not good. Okay. Just collecting some wood. Um, so I do, because I, I did play this a little bit before, I did kind of look at the area and I have, I do have a bit of a plan for um, kind of how I want to start out. Um, starting out for me is always the hardest part about this game. Once you really get going, oh, oh, all right. Okay, wow, this is, that was really weird. I think we're just gonna, okay. Well, anyway, let's chop down this tree again. Um, anyway, I do have a bit of a plan on kind of where I want to start. Um, there's this kind of flat area that overlooks um, sort of this starting area. And so I do kind of have, I have a plan for a house. Uh, not really like a really nice house, just kind of a, you know, a gets the job done, has a decent amount of storage, and it's a shelter type of house, um, which I think would be a good way to start off. Um, it's, and it'll have a little entrance to like, 
you know, I'll build, I'm going to build it on top of my mine so that I can easily get in and out of there. And I don't know, it just seems like a good way, a good way to start. So I figured I'd start by doing that. It's not like an ugly, like, I don't know. You get a lot of those people who start by building like a dirt shack and eh, I kind of want to like, I kind of want to make something to remind us of sort of what it would be like, what it was like at the beginning of the Let's Play when you're stuck with nothing but some wood and sticks in a crafting bench and you're just trying to get by. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to build this house to help us remember that. Probably won't tear it down. <laughs> yeah, probably will. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, sort of like maybe in this like flat area here. Yeah, I was thinking of... This is kind of where I thought I would be a good place to start out. Actually, maybe up here. Get rid of this dirt. Sort of sort of chunk of dirt on top and I think this area will be big enough for it. It's not like a super big house or anything. So let's see here we got one let's see here we got this and then we got one two three. so we're just gonna start digging into the ground and, and then yeah yeah this is good okay so, um, probably should start by making some ladders, now that I think about it. That would be the prudent thing to do, um, otherwise this will be a let's play about me getting stuck in a ditch. Not even a ditch, a big giant hole in the ground. My only choice will be to dig straight down. Heaven forbid. Anyway. <laughs> um... You just had to be there, chicken, didn't you? Anyway, so yeah, we're just gonna set some ladders up temporarily and I'm just gonna get to the cobblestone level. Well, that was. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start mining up some of this, enough so we can make some tools and a furnace. Get things going. Awesome, found some coal. We are doing very well right now. I've had I've had LPs where I just kind of freak out and do or not LPs but um, I've had uh, t situations where I start a new map and I don't know what to do and I just kind of freak out and then I'm, I end up just kind of roaming around at night until I get murdered. <laughs> um, that's why I decided not to do a hardcore LP. Uh, I I don't know I'm pretty good at this game. Oh and that reminds me real quick. Difficulty. Hard. Let's lock that. Yeah, that's right. We're playing this on hard, and we're not gonna ever pussy out. Yeah, you saw me do that, so now you know it's official. I will not be able to go in and out. I am not good. I mean, I guess, I don't know. There's some people that I guess will probably, they probably know how to mess with the game's code so that they can unlock the difficulty, but I, I'm not. I don't know how to do any stuff like that. So, for all intents and purposes, the difficulty is locked, and I am not changing it because I'm not a coward. Nah, just kidding. No, actually, the difficulty, it's kind of interesting to see how uh, difficulty has changed in this game, because back in, like, Alpha, um, this game was really hard. Um, not just in terms of the enemies you face, but in terms of, like, resources and all that. Like, it was hard to gather resources. Um, so it's hard to find a lot of resources. Um, and now, like, uh, you know, they made that easier. But, I don't know, I feel like the easiest the game was was actually somewhere around the official release. Um, because I remember I, I started playing this game a lot during version 1.4. Uh, it was the version right after the Wither came out, and the Wither, wither is really hard. But uh, um, I don't know. In my opinion, that was the easiest the game was. I actually feel that the game has gotten a fair bit harder since then, um, thanks to uh, 
Uh, I don't know. There's just all this stuff they've done to make like like progressive difficulty, which is something I'm all for. I really like that. Um, basically, for those of you that don't know, if you stay in one place multiple nights, uh, the difficulty will progressively get harder um, until you leave. And so, on hard difficulty, that could be quite a challenge. But it's a challenge that I'd like to accept. And you know, I'm just gonna. There we go. Alright, pick is broken. Now let's go up to the surface. Alright. Um, where's our crafting bench? I don't remember where I put it. Ruh row. Oh, here it is. I probably looked right at it. Anyway. I Yeah, I feel the game is actually quite a bit harder than it used to be. Uh... Zombies will swarm you on hard difficulty. They can break down doors. Uh, they used to not be able to do that. Creepers are better at creeping. Um, uh, do I want to do that? No, I don't think I do. Oh, I'm only... I shouldn't have filled in that hole. Oh, well. We're going to get some food. Ooh! Oh, yeah. I saw this before, too. There's a lava pit over there. It kind of burns everything down. That's pretty cool. <laughs> We'll check it out. Yeah, that's why I originally wanted to uh, do this completely like I would see the world for the first time. You would too, but uh, alas, technical issues didn't allow that. I could have just started a new map, but this is just such a great spawn, and this looks like a really promising map, so I just decided I'm going to stick with this seed. So, yeah, wow, actually it's spreading pretty far. That's pretty bad. And, ooh, cows. I'm not going to kill the cows. I want to... Cows, in my opinion, are the most valuable farm animal um, in this game because they give you leather and food. Um, pigs, in my opinion, have become kind of supplementary, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I mean, I guess you could still ride them, which is cool, but I mean, I don't, I don't really do that much. Um... At least not early in the game or anything, because, you know, it's really just kind of a thing you do for fun. Although, I do like getting that uh, achievement. There's an achievement where if you ride a pig off a cliff and take fall damage... I don't remember the exact conditions, but it's something along the lines of that. Uh, you get an achievement for it. It's kind of hilarious, in my opinion. And, man, we're just completely out. Okay, here's what we're going to do. And actually, I think the prudent thing to do, we're just gonna, because it's already almost dark, we're not gonna have enough time to get anything done, so, so, alright, it's getting dark, I'm just gonna keep digging this hole, because I wanna go all the way down to diamond level, and uh, when it's sunny up again, we'll resume recording, so, see you there. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Um, so it's raining. <laughs> I've never had this happen on the first day before. Um, it's pretty terrible, actually, because now monsters are hunting us in the daytime, and we have a hole. Ground. So, we're off to an excellent start. Honestly, it could be worse. I mean, we could have spawned in the middle of the ocean. Um, believe it or not, that can happen. I actually found out while I was trying to find a good map to start this let's play on, is one of them spawned me in the middle of an ocean. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Um, especially on large biomes, because you could swim for like probably a thousand blocks in each direction. Anyway, so it's raining and we don't have a good shelter, but oh well, we'll get there. Actually, I feel like this is a pretty good place to conclude our first episode. Um, I know, the beginning of most Minecraft built is can be kind of boring, and I feel that mine is no exception. We dug a hole in the ground, but hey, you know, we're off to a great start for next time, so um, yeah. See you all in the next video. Take care.